and welcome to another episode of the Enoch Generation, a generation that walks with God. So well, in the last three episodes, we've been talking to Dr. Jemima Joshua and her wonderful walk with the Lord. In the last episode, she told us about how God helped her to find her uh, helpmate. And uh, now she will continue with her journey. Yes, Jamie, it was very interesting to listen to you for the last three episodes. And now uh, we are in our fourth episode. And um, I'd like to know, see, you are a multifaceted person and uh, you do so many different things. So how did you actually, you know, move into this sphere of uh, becoming an artist and uh, doing business and things like that? How did you actually move into this? So what happened, art and business actually jumped in after marriage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, after marriage, like I've been uh, helping my husband's uh, brother's ministry, we both been helping. Uh, what happened was, you know, there was one sudden day, like me and my husband, we sitting together, uh, we were like just scrolling through social media and seeing, we happened to see like a uh, few people's art and coming, coming out. And what happened, my husband says like, how I wish I got married to an artist, like, Th that was, I don't know why even he said that, but he told that. He said, uh, you know, uh, he likes arts and all that. And that's the first time I know. But does uh, he know to draw? Yeah, he's actually, I, he doesn't know to draw, but he is actually a designer. He studied for it. Okay, so okay. so he, he's got art in his blood. Exactly. Mm. So he likes art so much. And if you uh, show him, actually, you know, you, I, I go by his uh, selections, like, if he says take this dress i will go buy it because i believe that he has like good color combinations and good selection taste and all that so that comes with that is from exactly him. why he ultimately chose you <laughs> <laughs> it you. reflects there itself <laughs> yeah uh, so he told that and you know me and you know right like since it's a lovely arranged marriage um, i slowly started speaking to him and it was uh, early years, uh, yearly times of my marriage. So what happened was, I never told him anything. Uh, one day he went out for ministry. And what I did, I wanted to sh tell him and show him that even I have, uh, I like to draw and all that. So what I did, I was trying to find, you know, we being in a new house, being newly married, I couldn't find anything to actually uh, draw and anything. But I found a Sunday school kit where there was like small watercolors and small crayons and pencil and pen. It's like a pouch they were using for, I mean, in our brother's uh, ministry. So that's a Sunday school pouch uh, for kids. So what I did, I took that uh, uh, Sunday school kids pouch and I uh, got all this watercolor and all that and I used my eyeshadow brush, I put like a rubber band towards the end and I did something and you know I drew a painting, I mean I, I drew something, a girl walking in the rain and you know a wind blowing and her umbrella is flying and her uh, you know uh, her hair and all it's like this. And that that's my very first thing I drew. And uh, when my husband came home, I wanted to surprise him saying like, see what I did. And that was my first time I did it. And that came in because I used to, you know, draw in my record works, like school record works, 10, I mean, 11th, 12th, we have in science, we have record books, right? Where we draw hibiscus, where we draw yeah, all this rat and, uh, and all the that. cockroach. Yeah. yeah. So those were yeah. my drawing history. I never had any art history in my life. So those were only my drawing history. So what I did, I just showed my husband like surprise. I did something for you. And he was like, since he's been a designer before coming into ministry, he was just shocked to see. And he's like, how did you do this? I said like, I, you know, took the Sunday school kid. Uh, kit and I did it and through this watercolor I did it and he's like amazed like how can he able to do with something very small you can do it so which means you really have a skill and that's when he believed on me and he said uh, we never planned it for business or anything he just said like 
like he took me to a shop called Starbucks and he brought uh, he bought me like bunch of um, uh, acrylics and canvas and paints and I mean brush and everything so we being a newly married he said like at least you can you know entertain yourself doing what you like and that's how he actually trusted on what I showed him and he bought all those things and I started painting slowly and that's when my whole painting journey started and what happened because as you were talking all I could think was love really brings out the best in another true, person true, true, no? true, so true. Yeah. when there is uh, you know the person really loves you so much they can really bring out the best and yeah. it's so beautiful to see the way you've been journeying with your husband and yeah. how he's really brought out a talent which has been kind of hidden inside of you yes. all these years yeah. Yeah. maybe the world never knew that you were an artist I thought you were yeah. already an artist maybe you no. had gone for some you know to the art school because I've seen so many of your paintings when you put up on Instagram and Facebook and I know you held an exhibition in Bangalore and uh, so I always thought you had learned art no. I never knew that uh, you were a novice. I and, just uh, wanted to impress my husband. That's how it started. But he encouraged me a lot. But I think you've impressed the world now with your art. <laughs> yeah, true. It's God's grace. Yeah. And uh, how he trusted me matters a lot. I mean, he trusted me so much. And actually, we be See, more than he trusting you, the encouragement that he's given mm. you is uh, seems to be awesome. Yeah. You know? Because that's how God has planned our lives. Like uh, the wife encourages the husband and puts him into his dream and the husband encourages the wife and puts her into so her true. dream because uh, God has really put so many seeds of greatness inside of us and so true. you know when uh, we complement each other we really bring out the best in the other. So, true. so that's so what true. we've been called so for. True. So I can see that you are really yeah. blessed. There are, there are a lot of times you know I start my painting doing like this much and then I call Joshua like I don't know like really how to finish this and I, I mean what do you think about it and he really stand you know there are times I pay I painted like 16 hours together just going for the loo and coming and painting and he actually I'll be with the apron and with the brush and he'll be feeding he'll be like and also encouraging me you know you can do it like I think it's amazing I I won't see anything amazing there actually but he says it's amazing it looks awesome I think it's going to be a masterpiece that's what those are the words I hear from him so you know just to at least fulfill what he expects I mean just to fulfill the expectation that he has on me I you know put a lot of effort on it and you know that's how every painting so I we, we always share like in couples meeting and all the you know marriage seminar and all those places I say you know all my paintings uh, the hands are mine the brains are my husband's because he says like you can do it you can do that so I can never take that's the reason we named our uh, art company as JP Arts I never uh, saying like I never say it's from Jemima it's my husband is Joshua Praveen right so that's the reason we named our art company as JP Arts because it has both both of our um, effort on the canvas if you ask who paints it then I'll say I painted it but hands are mine brains are my husband's so that's how every art comes out and uh, actually we had no idea to make it as a business art as a business what happened one day uh, I think we were traveling to Coimbatore for um, to teach in global school of missions after finishing uh, teaching there we were coming back in a train and I was so excited about the tea and the samosa they sell in the train I was seeing that and uh, I wanted my I mean Joshua to buy it for me so I was very much keen on the tea and the samosa and all that but my uh, God was talking to Joshua saying that you know you can bless people with your call you can make money with your talent he can, you can bless people with your call and make money with your talent and that was the one word that we cling on to we said Lord this is a uh, talent that you gave to us art is a talent that you gave to us and we're going to make money out of it and that's when we we started this JP arts as a company and we wanted to sell arts I'm telling there were a lot of people who were actually discouraging being in India being in Chennai who will buy your arts you know no you can only paint See, what I'm really surprised I want to you know stop you here normally you know you get all this uh, negative stuff from home and with that you just wind off close down mm -hmm. and you say okay maybe I can't do it but yeah, it's yeah. amazing to see the way uh, Joshua has been there with you you know pushing you through and uh, no matter what others say 
yeah. you know he's been there to tell you you can do it i know yeah, this so is true. awesome this is good see those very words mm, so true they can uh, literally push us a mile so true. it's really wonderful to see you know the world may say something but when you have your husband standing with you encouraging you you know the confidence that you will have to move forward is something which is entirely different sure, sure. so it's so beautiful that god has used your talent in yeah. this way and uh, you went to the extent of having a, you know a beautiful exhibition i mean like yeah. this journey is uh, it's like mind boggling for me yeah because as a person who is very interested in art and uh, but i've never gone this far you know yeah, it's awesome yeah. to see the way yeah. you've been encouraged and the way you've been yeah. pushed because i think all of us need that encouragement and that push and when that push is there you know you can do anything literally and it's so beautiful that uh, your husband is standing with you yeah. for all this and uh, and i really think in unity there is a power yeah there uh, is yeah because uh, you know in hebrew it comes like this uh, there is a two word uh, kala and chatan Uh, which means a uh, kala is bride and chatan means groom when you put kala and chatan together which brings out a a, a word which means dynamite which means power so it's very important for husband and wife to be united i'm telling you even the husband is zero or the wife is zero no matter uh, who has what talent and who has what calling or whatever but when we just choose to be together i'm telling you we see the power of god manifesting because from right from genesis why did he even make covenant i think covenant is a sign of unity that god wants to you know uh, uh, say to abram like like i'm there with you like i will be there like when when abram couldn't believe anything like lord what will i do is my uh, eliezer is my you know generation or eli is 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 he is my you know my future generation but god said no come here i'm making a covenant with you which means god wanted to come in unity with him and say that when i am with you you can become a nation So I think unity brings everything out. See, but in a culture like ours, where we've got these arranged marriages, where you know people look into different aspects, where you know God is actually just given uh, secondary uh, treatment there, and all we see is in the wedding invitation. You know, this thing comes from the Lord, and you know it may have the Lord will never have a part in it. True. It's all True. you know done in such a what to say worldly you know wise. Everything is. a line but when i listened to you and you came out with your story it was like how god was moving it was you know you gave importance to what his decision was and so did uh, your husband so you allowed the holy spirit to move so when he you know you allow him to move when he brought the union in there is something very different in it very true. because he becomes your everything your all and then you see everything that's moving moves very differently yeah so yeah. i'm really uh, so blessed to listen to you and i think this would be a great blessing to so many young people who are listening that what is more important is you know whether you make the choice or your parents make the choice for you doesn't yeah. matter but just make sure that it is in line with what the lord wants you to do so uh, so then uh, this was for art then how did you venture out to having an exhibition uh okay so uh, yeah like as i said like there were a lot of people actually discouraged me and my husband saying like you better go to every wedding and gift one art piece because you never end up you know selling okay. one yeah. but let me tell you i don't have one right now for myself everything is sold out wow mm. everything that i did before my child like it's been one and a half years i painted uh, because of my baby and all that but i i don't have one for myself everything is sold out you know it's i think it's truly because of god and yeah during this journey my actually my father in law referred us to one of a uh, uh, a great artist christian artist who is called sushila williams and uh, she get to see my painting so when she saw she said you know uh, i only took like uh, two to three paintings to her just to you know uh, make her to rate it because me being a new artist i don't know how to really rate it if you ask me how do you rate it i will only say okay canvas is this much and paint is this much and uh, okay i put so much of time maybe this much and this much is my 
painting but uh, but then since the paintings were like really nice uh, and everybody started liking it my husband wanted to okay let let us go and ask a professional artist and ask her how much to rate it and that's when she saw our painting and she said these are like really good one and she uh, rated all our paintings and she gave me an opportunity to join in into indian christian art association so that's how i joined in uh, as a member you know the members of indian christian art association are like um 40 years of artist and you know i i've been married for 5 years so i'm like hardly 4 years artist now but you know all are like old people all are like uh, experienced. experienced in them but you know god gave a place there just like you know a joseph a puny a tiny uh, joseph who had nothing like almost butt naked in the pit but it was god's favor took him to you know egypt and made him as a where he was you know very influential person so i really think when we hear i uh, i think if i trace my life i really think you know when we hear lord properly and when you have patience to wait for the lord i think god god will turn anything beautiful and that's how i ended up being uh, conducting an exhibition in chitrakala parishad which was in bangalore i was part of it in for indian krishna art association and yeah that's how my whole art journey is going and so yeah. how did you manage to sell all your artwork uh, was it through the exhibition or uh, how uh, else not only through exhibition uh, through uh, people who sees i don't have any particular forum or anything till now i have to make one but um, through social medias and through people who get to see my painting they like it and they say like i will buy it and through i mean through mouth to mouth advertisement and all that yeah it's beautiful your journey in art has just begun yeah. so you still got a long way a to lot. go yeah. so maybe as the days go by uh, joshua would bring out uh, several other seeds of greatness that god has planted in yes. you and uh, i think god is bringing out through joshua it's god yeah, yeah. yes it's god so viewers you've been listening to her journey in art and uh, how she's been having a husband who's been so supportive so encouraging and uh, who's literally being bringing out those seeds of greatness that god has planted into her so uh, each one of us as a husband as a wife if we would do this to our spouse sure. i think the world would be a better place to live in and uh, we would be able to put our spouse into their destinies mm-hmm. and uh, you know we would be a tool where their dreams would be fulfilled through us Uh, may God give you that grace and give each one of us that grace to move on in this journey called life uh, that God has so beautifully granted us. And thank you so much for staying with us, listening to us. Have a great day and God bless. Till our next episode. Goodbye. Thank you. அமர்ந்திரு மகனே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தியில் அமர்ந்திரு அமர்ந்திரு மகனே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தியில் அமர்ந்திரு உனக்காக போராட உனக்காக ஜயம் எடுக்க என்னை சுய
கேபிக்குள் ஒளிந்திடும் அனுபவமோ சத்துரு தொடர்ந்திடும் சூழ்நிலையோ கேபிக்குள் ஒளிந்திடும் அனுபவமோ சத்துரு தொடர்ந்திடும் சூழ்நிலையோ ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே விடுதலை கொடுப்பாரே ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே விடுதலை கொடுப்பாரே அமர்ந்திரு மகனே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தில் அமர்ந்திரு சாலைக்குள் நீ அடைப்பட்டாயோ வெளிவர பாதை தெரியலையோ சீரை சாலைக்குள் நீ அடைப்பட்டாயோ வெளிவர பாதை தெரியலையோ ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே கட்டுகளை அறுப்பாரே ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே கட்டுகளை அமர்ந்திரு மகனே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தில் அமர்ந்திரு தள்ளிய சூழ்நிலையோ நம்பி நோர் ஒதுக்கிய தனி மரமோ குளிக்குள்ளே தள்ளிய சூழ்நிலையோ நம்பி நோர் ஒதுக்கிய தனி மரமோ ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே வெளி வர செய்வாரே ஏகோவானிசி உன் வெற்றி கோடி இன்றைக்கே வெளி வர கண்ணீரின் மத்தில் அமர்ந்திரு ஆ அமர்ந்திரு மகளே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தில் அமர்ந்திரு உனக்காக போராட உனக்காக ஜெயமெடுக்க உன் எசு எழுந்து மறிந்து உனக்காக போராட அமர்ந்திரு மகனே அமர்ந்திரு நீ அமர்ந்திரு உன் கண்ணீரின் மத்தில் அமர்ந்திரு